Hello, good morning, students, and welcome back to the class 10 uh, physics. And today we are starting with a new chapter that is light. And the two main things that we are going to study is reflection and refraction. Okay, reflection and refraction of light. Out of this, we have studied a little bit about reflection in class 8. So let's recall all these things and because first we will be focusing on reflection, so we will study reflection first and then we will talk about refraction. So what did we study in class 8? So first of all, the light is a source of energy. Uh, we also studied about laws of reflection and we also studied about the working of human eye. Okay. So these things that we are going to study right now in class 10 as well, once again. But 8th standard was just the basics, we are going to study in much more details, we will be doing a lot more numericals and this particular chapter is divided into two parts. That is why, just like electricity and magnetic effects of electric current, we have light and human eye and colorful world, which is also part of light as well. So it is continuation. So first we will focus on the reflection part. So in this we also studied about the reflection and then we studied about the images formed because of the reflection. Images inside a plane mirror, we studied about laws of reflection and we studied about virtual and real images. Okay. So let's recall all of those things starting with the laws of reflection. If you remember, what is the first law of reflection? It states that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are same. So the laws of reflection, laws of reflection. First one, angle of incidence and angle of reflection, they both are same. Angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal. Okay? And in order to understand this, we will draw a plane mirror like this, okay, or a smooth surface and then we will imagine an incident ray which is falling on this surface. Obviously, when this light ray is falling on the smooth surface, it is going to get reflected back like this and at this particular point, we also have a normal that is perpendicular to the surface and the angle of incidence is the angle formed by incident ray that is this one incident ray with the normal is called angle of incidence and the angle of reflection is the angle formed by the reflected ray with the normal okay and the law states that these two angles are equal that means if this angle is 30 degrees then this angle will also be 30 degrees Okay, this is the first law of reflection. The second law of reflection states that incident ray, reflected ray and the normal, they all lie in the same plane. So, incident ray, reflected ray and normal all lie in same plane. So, they are all in the same plane. They cannot change. If incident ray and normal are in one plane then the reflected ray cannot be in the other plane they all will have uh, they all will be in the same plane this is what we studied about the laws of reflection in class 8 and we also studied about real and virtual images let's recall that quickly real and virtual images Real images are formed when the incident rays of light after reflecting a surface they converge that is they meet at a particular point and then they cast an image at that particular point those images are real images and virtual images are formed inside a reflecting surface in which they seem to meet at a certain point so they are not actually meeting in the real world they are meeting inside the reflective surface and such images which are formed inside the reflective surface where they seem to meet are called virtual images and because of that when 
the real images are formed they can be formed on a screen or they can be projected on a particular let's say this board or a wall but the virtual images cannot be projected they will always remain inside the reflecting surface like the mirror the image inside your mirror cannot be projected outwards it will remain inside the mirror okay similarly if you observe yourself inside let's say a uh, shiny floor or water if you observe yourself in, in the bucket of water that image is inside the shiny surface it cannot be projected elsewhere the image which can be projected on a screen are real images and the images which cannot be projected on the screen are virtual images okay students we also studied about the properties of the image formed inside a plane mirror so what are the properties of the image formed by a plane mirror so the first one was or if you see or observe yourself inside the mirror you will see that whatever is your height or whatever is the height of the object the image inside will also have the same height okay so first one is it is same height and size you can say that it is of the same height and same size the second one is if you are standing 1 meter away from the mirror then the image inside will also be 1 meter away that means the distance between object and the mirror and the distance between object sorry image and the mirror will remain same okay so we can say that it is same distance from mirror as object so whatever the distance of the object from the mirror the image will also be at the same distance inside the mirror okay and the third one the third one is an important one it will be virtual and erect that means if your head is on this side then inside the mirror your head will not be upside down so the image is not inverted it is not upside down it is erect but it is virtual that is inside the mirror it cannot be projected on the screen we just talked about virtual and real images so because this is a plane mirror and it is a mirror reflective surface so the image will be virtual okay so it will be virtual image and erect image okay and the last one that is the fourth one the fourth one is that if you raise your right hand then the image inside will raise its left hand this is this phenomena is called lateral inversion that is it is the inverted not the upside down inverted but horizontally inverted okay it will be the flipped image so what we have tried over here is it will be lateral inversion lateral inversion of original so the image will be lateral inversion of the original object it will be the inversion of the original object now we have a lot we have lots to discuss but in this chapter we will be focusing more on the spherical mirrors that is concave and convex mirrors plane mirrors is just for the uh, understanding of the reflection and we have covered pretty much everything in this video we will talk more about the mirrors in the next video till then have a nice day